Good evening and welcome. In tonight's news, the 15th meeting of the EU Jordan Association Council kicks off in Brussels. The National Cyber Security Center launches the National Dialogue on the 2024 2028 Cyber Security Strategy. And at least 80 Palestinians have been killed and 216 others injured in Israel's latest strikes in the Gaza Strip. Hello and welcome again. Foreign Minister Ayman al-Safadi highlighted the importance of the partnership between Jordan and the European Union at various levels. During a joint press conference with the European Commission officials in Brussels, Safari highly valued the EU's support to Jordan and its economic reforms. For his part, the EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs, Joseph Burrell, affirmed that the EU will support Jordan through its various programs to combat terrorism. He also praised Jordan's efforts to achieve peace and stability in the region. The European Commissioner for Enlargement and Neighbourhood Policy, Oliver Farhaley, said the EU is aware of the political, economic and social challenges facing Jordan. He stressed the EU's firm position in supporting Jordan and its efforts to host Syrian refugees. Earlier, the 15th meeting of the EU-Jordan Association Council kicked off in Brussels, co-chaired by uh, Foreign Minister Ahmed al-Safari and the EU Foreign Policy Chief. The plenary session was dedicated to discussing bilateral relations with a focus on the implementation of the association agreement and the priorities of the new partnership between the EU and Jordan 2021-2027, which were adopted by the Association Council in 2022. The National Cyber Security Center launched the National Dialogue on the 2024-2028 Cyber Security Strategy in the presence of Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of State for Public Sector Modernization, Nasr Shreide. The dialogue included the announcement of the start of consultative sessions with concerned public and private institutions to set up executive program for the strategy. The minister said that by the end of 2025, all public services will be digitized. He said the strategy should play a role in strengthening partnership between the public and private sectors and allowing the private sector to develop applications that enhance cyber security. The Jordan Armed Forces Arab Army carried out three airdrops to the southern Gaza Strip as part of ongoing efforts to alleviate the suffering of Palestinians caused by Israel's aggression. The operation involved the participation of two aircraft from the Royal Jordanian Air Force and one aircraft from Egypt. The Army has so far conducted 117 airdrops since the start of the Israeli offensive, in addition to 266 airdrops that were jointly carried out with other countries. And in the Gaza Strip, at least 80 Palestinians have been killed and 216 others injured in Israel's latest strikes. Israeli forces struck the southern and central Gaza Strip today to put more pressure on Palestinian resistance movement Hamas following a weekend strike targeting the group's leadership, which killed scores of Palestinians camped in a designated safe zone. The Gaza Health Ministry said more than 38,660 Palestinians have been killed and nearly 89,100 others have been injured in Israel's unrelenting onslaught since October the 7th. Thank you so much for your time.